Throughout history, we find numerous examples of small and seemingly insignificant states rising to great prominence. The Roman Empire began as a backwater city-state, the Russian Tsardom traces its origins to the small principality of Muscovy, the Ottoman Empire was barely visible on a map when it was founded, and even the current world hegemon of the United States began as a series of colonial outposts in the New World. Most people, however, are not aware of the numerous examples in which the opposite happened. Many countries that may nowadays seem obscure and insignificant might in reality simply be shadows of their former selves. In this video we will list 5 relatively unknown and small countries whose great past and much larger territorial extent will definitely surprise you. Hungary Despite being a relatively affluent country in the modern day, Hungary's current territory is actually the smallest it's ever been throughout its entire millennia long history. Founded in the 9th century by a nomadic group of tribes known as the Magyars, the Kingdom of Hungary was eventually Christianized and integrated into the Catholic world of Western Europe. By the 12th century, Hungary came to dominate a large chunk of Central Europe. In the 13th century, though, the kingdom went through a destructive series of Mongol campaigns in its interior, which left it decentralized and depopulated. Hungary experienced a resurgence in the late 14th and early 15th centuries, when for a brief period the kings of Hungary also ruled southern Italy and Poland. By the later 15th and 16th centuries, however, the kingdom would find itself sandwiched and eventually splintered between two powerful empires, the Ottomans and the Habsburgs. Hungary would gain back its full autonomy after World War I, but at the cost of losing two-thirds of its historic land. Bulgaria After suffering through decades of totalitarianism as a puppet of the Soviet Union, the Bulgarian people still have to continue with the legacy of their country's communist past. Widespread corruption and a severe demographic crisis still plague the state. And though Bulgaria has experienced a large improvement in its overall living standards in the recent decades, it still remains the poorest country in the European Union. Things were a lot different for Bulgaria during the Middle Ages, however. Founded in the 7th century, the first Bulgarian Empire came to dominate most of the Balkan Peninsula by the 900s after crushing the Eastern Roman Empire in multiple battles. The Bulgarian realm was not only renowned for its military success, but also its cultural activity which made it the first Slavic cultural hub. The Bulgarian Empire would, however, fall to their Roman rivals only a century later. The second Bulgarian Empire would rise from the ashes of the first, and would once again rule over a significant portion of the Balkans until it succumbed to Mongol and later Ottoman attacks, the former of which would once and for all bring an end to the Bulgarian medieval state, whilst the latter seized and occupied its remnant successor states. Georgia Not to be confused with the US state of the same name, this small country is located in the Caucasus, famous for its numerous beautiful medieval fortresses and structures. The Georgians have been inhabiting their current homeland since prehistoric times. A centralized Georgian kingdom, however, had only been formed in the 11th century. Under the rule of competent kings such as David the Builder, who stopped multiple Seljuk invasions, as well as Queen Tamar, famous for her brutality and successful campaigns, the kingdom expanded rapidly. The kingdom, however, was reduced to only its heartland by the Mongol Empire, never to return to its former prominence. Throughout the rest of history, Georgia would fall under the influence of various local powers and gain full independence only after the fall of the Soviet Union in the 1990s. Lithuania Located in the Baltics, which in the last couple of centuries changed hands between several great powers multiple times, one would wonder how this country even survived as an independent entity, let alone become a stable and fast-developing country. It may come as a surprise, but the Lithuanians once ruled over the biggest state in all of Europe. Lithuania was founded in the 13th century by one of the last pagan tribes in all of Europe. Exploiting the power vacuum in the Russian lands caused by the Mongols, the Grand Duchy of Lithuania expanded aggressively throughout the 13th and 14th centuries, stretching from the Baltics to the Black Sea at its largest. In the late 14th century, the Lithuanians entered a personal union with the Kingdom of Poland. Eventually, the Poles came to dominate the union and the role of Lithuania largely diminished, especially after the formation of the Polish-Lithuanian Commonwealth in the 1500s. In the late 18th century, the Polish-Lithuanian state would go through several partitions, which would eventually erase both Lithuania and Poland from the map for another century. Morocco Located on the western edges of the Maghreb region, this country is home to a population of mixed Berber and Arab ancestry, which throughout history has been famous for its resistance toward invaders. Under the Almoravid dynasty, the Moroccans formed a vast empire stretching nearly 2,000 miles from north to south. This Islamic empire significantly slowed the Reconquista by defeating the Christian kingdoms of Iberia on multiple occasions. Though Almoravid rule over Morocco lasted for only a century, their successor, the Almohad, continued to rule over a massive empire, this time encompassing new lands like Tunisia. Eventually, the Moroccans began losing ground to the Christians in Iberia and suffered from infighting as well as political instability. The state would fragment in the 14th century, giving rise to various other Moroccan dynasties. 
None, however, would come even close to the might of the Almoravids and the Almohads. The US of Z, thanks for watching. Support your legion by liking the video, or join our ranks by subscribing for more. Mr. Z, out.